Yes, it's splitting season. You got all your wood for this winter? Yeah, I don't. Okay, so got to get a move on. Cold weather's coming in. Stay tuned. Look at this guy. See that? Look at that guy on there. I'm telling you, something wrong with him. Some he needs some help, guys. Can you help him? <laughs> oh, don't we all need help? Today we have the poor man's bucking special. Yes. Let's talk about axes. What kind of axe y'all have? What's your favorite axe? Is it a maul? A splitting axe? Modern? Vintage? Hand-me-down? You don't really care just as long as it's an axe thing? You have one axe and you throw it out there and whatever. You collect them, you, you even use them? You just have a mechanical splitter? Nothing wrong with that, shoot. I kind of like to keep in shape. I know you can't really tell, but um, so I like hand splitting. This is my favorite one right here. Not only do this is a plum three two double bit. Not only do I like this because it splits really good, but also because I made it. I built the handle and I refurb this whole head. You probably can't tell right now, but. In a time in my life where I was uh, really down and out, man. Uh, but uh, yeah, it has a lot of his. This thing has a lot of history. I'll never get rid of this. Will be the one that I'd never get rid of. And the one my girlfriend got me too is pretty cool. It's a double bit. I'm a double bit guy. I built this in a time in life where, like, I was really down and out. I mean, I lost my job, lost my wife. I thought I was going to lose my kid. Um, thought I was gonna lose my home because I didn't have a job, and I thought I was kind of better off dead type thing. You know what I mean? And it takes a lot for me to even say that. Um, man, that thing ain't gonna split. It's trying to. I'm not gonna hit him right here. Um, and. You know, I had a lot of time to myself, obviously. It's, you know, I had the woe is me moments. And, uh, there it went. And, uh, I had the woe is me moments. And I thought, you know, and I, I was watching a lot of TV, YouTube, and, you know, whatever. I was trying to watch positive type things. And that's where I was turned on to Killinger, Chris Killinger. And, you know, he, he's, you know, great axe builder. And, He's great at everything, but that's beside the point. Um, I was watching this channel a lot, and then everybody in the comments was talking about Buckin' Billy Ray. I'm like, who is this guy? And uh, and I found his channel, and uh, I was like, dang, man, he's an axe builder too. That's cool, you know. These axes he makes are cool, whatever. He just kind of gets a bunch of used heads and, you know, gets and half some and you know, wow, he's, you know, creating this big positive, uh, um, I don't know, it's like a real positive atmosphere when you watch it, you know, there's no down, you know, no drama and stuff and whatever, so, years and years ago, and uh, I couldn't afford one of his axes, but I wanted one really bad, I was like, you know what, I'll just, I'll just, get back to it you know get back to splitting and and cutting wood again you know keep in shape keep my mind healthy and i'll just make you know i went out in the garage and got this old head and carved this handle I think it's like a 34 inch handle 32 34 something like that. and um out of hickory hickory right here and uh just the rest is history and it kind of helped me pop out of so Killinger and Buckin and 
you know, all those positive uh, channels at the time, you know. Um, so it's grew to be something a little bit different now, but you know, whatever. Um, we all change and we all navigate through life in different ways. So, but anyway, uh, that's my story on the sax. So, you know, it's never let me down. So every time I look at it, I think of that. So people hear the word poor ends buck and special and they think, Oh gosh, that Doug's making fun of Buck and Billy Ray. I just want to say that story, you know, that that's maybe now it'll make more sense to you that, uh, that's why I call it poor man's bucking special. So anyway, there's that. A little less talking, a little more splitting. So yeah, what's, uh, what kind of ax you guys use? Tell me. This is just some ash. It's not incredibly hard to split, obviously. Some of it is. Some of it's just gross. But uh, I have a lot. I really like the double bits. I really like, uh, I like about a three to three and a half pound axe. I also like Fiskers. I love Fiskers. I mean, if you don't like Fiskers, whatever, you know, you're just, you don't like them for some reason that they're not because Fiskers is a good axe. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, so yeah. Um, splitting malls. I don't use the splitting malls much. But uh, I don't know why. I just don't. I have and I will. But That's a big in there. <coughs> Woo! Got him. Yeah, story time with Doug, apparently. <laughs> yeah. I like splitting. Do you guys like splitting? I enjoy it. You kind of... I don't know. There's something that's... You know, I don't know. It's just you and the wood, and it's kind of manly, I guess, is the word maybe. And you know, you, you, it makes you feel. Or I guess it makes you like feel like more of a man, maybe. You know, it does me. It makes me feel like I. It gives me a sense of accomplishment. And um, the final chapter in its life is providing heat for my home so all positive things right that's why I like to do it anyhow you get out here break a little sweat you know sorry I'm in the camera view but That's kind of why I like to do it. Dang it. I hit the dirt sometimes. What do you do? Who doesn't, right? Yeah, Fisk Fisker's X27. If you don't know where to get an axe, that's a good one. Fisker's X27, or I don't know what they call it now, maybe something different, but uh, that's a pretty good axe for any, you can go anywhere and buy one of those. I love mine. I 
I love the one I got. So there's so many different ways to split wood too. Just do it your way. I like splitting wood on the ground because it seems like you bend over more. Oh goodness. Uh, when you put it on something. And I also try to split it to where it doesn't split all the way. That's why I don't hit it really hard all the time. Sometimes it bites you in the butt when you do that. Let's see, they just like that. You know? I think it can come this way. Get smaller pieces. See? Yeah. Like so. The less you have to bend over, the better when you're splitting wood, I think. In my opinion. As I bend over. <laughs> but, yeah. The thing is, you know, there's different species of wood. It all splits differently. So, you know, you gotta just find your own groove. But ash burns really good and it's dying all over America. So you might as well try to look for some. Woo! And when you split it, don't split it like that. Try to look for a little crack like right there. Yeah. Woo! That one is dim. There. Yeah, I like splitting ash because there's plenty of it. It's already dying from the ash borer beetles. And oh, I keep doing that. I wanted to show you. I just pick it up with the axe instead of bending over. A lot of you guys have probably seen me split wood before. But if you haven't, if you're new, I love splitting wood. And I'll show you some of the techniques I use, maybe help somebody. Maybe not too. Ah. Here's one right here. I don't know if the camera's aimed down far enough to see or not. Probably not, no. Anyway. Well, let me get this other axe. The one I got from Tanton. Check this beast out. This is a four and a half, five pound or so. I'm not sure. Four, four and a half pound rafting axe. <laughs> Tanton Rosencrantz. He had a few chainsaws. My guy, he gave me that. I tried to make it look pretty on the end here, but it's not too bad. See how this beast does. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Might not be able to get that back out. There it goes. Sheesh. Oh, peesh. He wanted to go there. If I could hit it straight, it'd probably help. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, this is a monster. Yeah. 
Okay, it's straight. There it goes. You don't want to swing this every day, I tell you right now. This thing's a freaking beast. Now get in the habit of pulling your wood with your axe. Save your back. What kind of wood you guys split? I split ash, cherry, hickory, elm, which really sucks. Beach, which really sucks bad. Um, oak. A lot of oak. What else? A little bit of Osage orange or hedge, whatever you would call it. A uh, walnut is another one. All kinds of good stuff. Sparked. <laughs> Trying to hit the camera. So I get how I use the axe to pick up the wood. couple more days we got this cold front moving in so it's in like Dakotas and stuff right now because Kent lives in South Dakota he said uh, it's 16 degrees in South Dakota right now Whew. so we right, coming out here when it was 55 60 degrees and the little wood splitting I'm done with that big old beast yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me split this one up, I guess. So. Anyway, you guys have seen enough, I'm sure. Appreciate you watching, hanging out. And uh, we'll see you next time.